I'm Jared from SoundGuitarLessons.com. We're going to keep this nice and simple today. We're just going to talk about harmonic minor scale and the chords that come from it. This is part of a series that I've been doing for a while, and we've covered so much good stuff. This will make sense on its own, but if you've been following along any of the other lessons, this will fit right in very nicely. Um, basically, chords come from scales, and so when you have a major scale, you grab certain notes from that scale to make the chords. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, three, five uh, makes a chord, or one, three, five, seven from that makes a chord. And so you can just do that with any type of scale. And there are a few other common types of scales that chords are built from. Harmonic minor scale is one of them. Melodic minor scale is another one that's even a little weirder, and I'm going to cover that next week in my next video. But let's just go through it in the most kind of straightforward, simple way, because you can get very complicated with talking about harmonizing other types of scales, harmonic minor, melodic minor, things go very deep. It's a, it's a deep subject, um, but I want to give it to you in the most straightforward way that I think on the guitar. I talked about this with the major scale and with the minor scale earlier in this series, and that's that we want to be able to think of something at least along one string. So the harmonic minor scale, almost like the natural minor scale, but with one note difference. It would be very helpful to, to really grasp this stuff if you know the chords and if you know the natural minor scale and the chords of the natural minor scale. So check out the episode that I did on the chords of the minor scale to get a foundation for this. You can do this without knowing that too. So here's the harmonic minor scale. It's one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six. And instead of flat seven, we have major seven or raised seven. One, seven, flat six, five, four, flat three, two, one. So that's the only difference, just that one note. Let's go ahead and, and harmonize this. First, we're gonna start by just looking at our chords in the minor scale. Now the chords in the minor scale are something that I recommend you have memorized. Um, that the one chord is minor, the two chord is diminished, the flat three chord is major, four chords minor, five chords minor, and flat six is major, flat seven is major, and the one chord back at the top is minor. So, I'm starting with that because we know that this harmonic minor scale has just one note different. And that different note is the seven. So instead of flat seven, there's a major seven. So we can just think of numbers now and think, all right, well, what chord is gonna be affected? Anything that touches the seven, right? So we're gonna do triads and we're gonna do seventh chords through the harmonic minor scale in this location off that first fret on the fifth string along the string. So doing triads, the first chord is gonna be one and three and five of the scale. That doesn't touch the seven, so it's gonna be the same. Cool, the one chord in the harmonic minor scale is minor. Uh, the two chord would be two, four, six of the scale. Still doesn't touch the seven. Still going to be diminished. So it's the same. Okay. The three chord of the scale, the, the three chord of harmonic minor is going to be, or of any scale is going to be three, five, and seven of that scale. Now we touch the seven, right? So here's, here's kind of the weird part. Three, five, and seven is, um, th those are the numbers of the parent scale that build the three chord, three, five, seven. Um, if you call them chord tones of the three chord, then it's one, three, five of the, of the three chord. So three, five, seven of the parent scale is one, three, and five of the three chord. And so with the graphics on the screen, that should help see it line up a, a little better. Cause I know that that can be quite confusing, but now we know, oh, three, five, seven, one, three, five. Oh, it's the five of the three chord that gets moved up. That's what we have to know. So we usually play this major chord. If we know where our five is, one, two, three, four, five. I talk all about that in this series, how to find notes uh, uh, in chords. Well, we raise that up. Oh, ooh, interesting sound. That's an augmented chord. That's a major chord with a sharp five. One, sharp five, three. And this is how I recommend playing it for this exercise. Minor, two chord is diminished. Three chord is, wow, it sounds, it sounds really cool. It sounds so unusual and so unique. We haven't touched on anything like that so far. So this is where that chord type, one of the places in an augmented chord can come from is being the third chord of harmonic minor. So is the four chord going to be manipulated? Well, four, six, one, no, four chord is gonna be the same because it doesn't touch seven, right? Okay, how about the five chord? Five, seven, two. Yes, definitely. So five, seven, two. Okay. That's one, three, five. That means the third note of the five chord is going to go up a half step. If this is very, very hard to follow along, if you were like so lost at me talking about that, it's because 
I've talked a lot about it in this series, and uh, it's quite challenging for me because I know sometimes I need, you know, I want to provide as much as I can in one lesson. I also don't want to repeat myself every time because that's the point of doing a series. I, I also don't want it to be, you know, just required that you have to know everything from before because that'll leave people in the dust. So trying to find the balance between those two things, but it should be kind of exciting, right? I like this idea of just exposing us to things, even if it's going a little over our heads. And, and that's why I have the whole series. So you can go back and just kind of take it in. The third chord tone of the five chord needs to be raised. So usually the five chord in a minor scale is minor. So the three is raised. We can find the three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, flat three, raise it. Okay, five chord is major. So far we have minor, diminished, three chord is augmented, four chord is minor, five chord is major, six chord. It's just gonna be major because you have six, one, and three, doesn't touch the seven. The seventh chord obviously is gonna be uh, changed and it's an easy one to think of too. You can play the flat seven major chord from the minor key and then just raise the root. Ah, cool sound. And then, I mean, I'm teaching this stuff because I want you to experience what I just experienced right there. Just like, and that's fun because it's moving also, but just like hearing that in your own playing is gonna be different than ever hearing it on a YouTube channel, right? So. So cool. And then six chord major, flat six chord major, five chord major. We've all heard that before. Right? And so that's where that sound comes from. So I want you to really just take your time and play with that, where you go through with these shapes. And it's just so fun to hear those coming out of our out of our own hands. Five chord major. That's what I'm doing. I'm just playing through it. Do it however you want. If you want to strum with these voicings and you got to mute some strings to do that, I like to just kind of pluck through them and just hear them. So, so pleased with that, that weirdness. So let's go through and add the sevens. So I'll, I'll do this kind of quickly, but the, it's the same idea, right? So one, three, five, seven is going to be the one chord. Seven is in there, so seven has to be raised. And I'm just gonna give these to you. You'll see the shapes on the screen too. So this is gonna be a major triad, I'm sorry, a minor triad with a major seven. This is called minor major seven. So now we know it, that's one of the places where this chord comes from. That's why it exists, minor major seven. What a weird chord, what a crunchy sounding chord. But that's because it naturally exists in this scale type. The two chord, two, four, six, one, doesn't touch the seven. It's half diminished, okay? This three chord is gonna have a major seven in it. So it's major seven sharp five. Pretty rare chord, but it comes up sometimes in, in jazz tunes. Okay, uh, the four chord is gonna be minor seven because we have four, six, one, three. Doesn't touch the seven. Normal minor seven. The five chord is dominant seven. The six chord is flat six major seven. And the seven chord is fully diminished. Ah, this chord, which we've used in, in other lessons in this series. Diminished seven, that's where that comes from. So again, if, if you have this chord, and a lot of chords come from many sources, but if you're like, what can I play over a diminished seven chord? And you'll hear some people say, play diminished scale. That is, that's definitely an, an option. But also it's the seventh chord of harmonic minor. So you could play, play the harmonic minor scale that it's that it's kind of pointing to okay let's go back down minor major seven diminished seven flat six major seven five dominant seven four minor seven flat three major seven sharp five two half diminished and then minor major seven Depending on what you're interested in and, and where you're at, this may or may not have some level of practicality, but I'm presenting it in this way, just this one way, just this one linear way. So you can at least be exposed to this concept in this at this one time or like a long one string in this fashion, we can explore it. So if it's something you're interested in kind of drilling and, and learning, then kind of knowing it that way, it can be your reference that you can go back to and kind of remind yourself or, or listen for it. And from there on out, yeah, the options are endless for how we explore the fretboard and map it out everywhere, or do all kinds of exercises with it. But uh, that is a good starting point and a good introduction. I could tell you just the theory of it, 
but it is so important to do it yourself. So I always want to give you a way to do it yourself and a way to think of it yourself. And this is the way that I recommend. All right, that's it for this lesson. In my next one, I'm going to do the same thing through melodic minor and it gets even weirder. And I want to just expose us to where some of these weird chords that we maybe have heard or come across sometimes where they come from. So I'm looking forward to that and hope to see you there. Thanks so much. Take care.